Now, a top Christmas tradition for many families is watching a festive film together. If you can agree on what to put on, of course. And those films, like our own lives, can throw up all sorts of dilemmas, which we're going to delve into now, starting with this scene from Bridget Jones's diary. Once again, I found myself on my own and going to my mother's annual turkey curry buffet. Every year she tries to fix me up with some bushy-haired middle-aged boar, and I feared this year would be no exception. By the way, the Darcy's are here. They brought Mark with them. Ah, here we go. You remember Mark? He used to play in his paddling pool. He's a barrister, very well off. No, I don't remember. <laughs> oh, we've had those awkward moments, haven't we, Janet? Yeah. Uh, well, it's better than saying that he wants to play in her paddling pool, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> what do you feel? <laughs> Just what fine. do you feel about awkward questions at Christmas that everyone feels they have to ask around mm. Christmas? Mm -hmm. I think it's just because everyone's back together. Like, sometimes there are people you won't see all year and then you only see them at Christmas and then you're forced together and you won't necessarily have something to talk about. So I feel like people just say the obvious things, like, if you've just got married, oh, when you're having a baby, yeah. you've got a baby in your arms, oh, when you're going to have another one, yeah. you know, like that kind of thing. Or if you've got a boyfriend, oh, when are you two getting married? I feel yeah. like it's just people making... Mm. Or if Easy you're married, when are you two getting divorced? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's normally the question I get asked. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, well do... you will keep doing it, won't you? I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, God loves a trier, as my mother <laughs> used to say. <laughs> but what do you do um, with awkward questions? I mean, are you one to ask them? Or have you been asked? I'm just so out there, I suppose, I do ask. But I do, I, I find that people are a little bit nosy with me and want to, oh, what are you going to do for the New Year's? And I always just say, oh, more sex and champagne. Yeah. I love that. I, that usually, especially when it's like an old church auntie, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. 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 Shuts them right Yeah, up. she's like, oh, I'm pretty <laughs> <laughs> And when you're saying it, do you hold the glass with your pinky out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it is, um, it's not just because it's just awkward moments, isn't it, when it people is. say awkward things. You had something on a train or something, didn't you, on a tube or...? <laughs> well, I had something last week where a man uh, came up to me and grabbed me by the arm and he went, how's your husband? And I went, I haven't got a husband. <laughs> Hoping he'd let go of me, this man, but he didn't. And he went, oh, were your partner then? And I said, he's fine. And he went, Oh, we love him so much and he's been so ill and he's made such a great recovery. Will you tell him from me that, you know, we think he's a national treasure? And I thought, do you know what? I know what he thinks. I, I just turned to him and I have a nice Janet emerged momentarily <laughs> and I went, I'll be sure to pass that on. And I then turned away and I thought, he thinks I'm Ruth Langsford. <laughs> Nice Ruth Langsford. No, I look like nasty Janet. <laughs> yeah, but you know what I love that you did? You didn't embarrass him. Like, no, just yeah. went, when okay, he grabbed my arm, I was completely tempted to go, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and say that word I can't say on daytime television, but I didn't. <laughs> right, so here's another one for you. It's a, it's a film called Four Christmases. Mm -hmm. And um, it's all about a couple, played by Reese Witherspoon and Vince Vaughan, visiting all four of their divorced parents' homes on Christmas Day. Oh. So it's that question of, can you ever keep everyone happy at Christmas time? No. No, no. Say OK, it next no. one. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you know what? I tried it. It was about four years ago at Christmas, and I said, I'm going to go to everyone. I went to about three or four people's house on Christmas Day. And by the time I got home, I was exhausted and I ended up, like, having a really bad cold. I think I was just run down. And I said, never again. I'm not, I'm not doing it, obviously, unless I don't cook and I need to go and get, like, food for the week. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not doing it. I, you know, I'm very much, like, now, you know, I'll just be like, like I did, I'm staying at home or, you know, it's just me and the kids and whatnot. Uh, but I'm not... I'll try and spread it out. Because, you know, for us, sometimes the Christmas period, especially for everybody, is the one time you just get to kind of wind down, mm. but you're also rushing, trying to get that Christmas atmosphere, the shopping, and you, you can end up being exhausted. So now I'm just like, no, boo-boo, you're not seeing me. Mm. You know, I've been through a lot of mother-in-laws in my time. <laughs> <laughs> 
So I'm completely familiar with when you've just got married and there's the argument about who you're going to see on Christmas Day. And actually, you spend most of the day in the car between yeah. both yeah. sets. And so by the time you get home, you've had to be nice to the one you don't like, yeah. your own mother, <laughs> and then <laughs> nice to the one that might possibly like you, the mother-in-law, and you get home and you're not speaking. And you're worn out. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Is that what it's like? Yeah. You both spend most both of Christmas about Day it, on you? the road. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Now I don't visit. Or you just have them both at your house, then? Well, if they all get no. on. Oh. <laughs> That's the problem. No. That's no. the problem. And now, with people, obviously, with second families and divorced yeah. families... Yes. And ..extended families, it's hard, isn't it? Yeah. I think there's... I think cos there's so many of you together, isn't there? And you, you are trying to keep everyone happy and you do feel like you have to see everyone. Like mm. I said, like, on Christmas, it's like, right, who are we going to see? Um, luckily for me, my family love Christmas and Wayne's family are quite indifferent about it. So we all go big with my family. Everyone comes round and then... Wayne's mum and dad and his sister and that kind of do their own thing and we see them when they want to come over, so it's quite easy. Mm. But I find with food, our family is like... Cos I get the food in, everyone comes to my house, but mum cooks it in my house. Oh. <laughs> I don't do the cooking yet. Oh. Um, and it's always like... What you've do you got mean, keep... yet? Yet? <laughs> How old do you have to be to learn cooking? Oh. As long as your mum wants to do yeah. it. Yeah, until mum can't. Yeah. <laughs> until mum doesn't want to. And then to. I'll get Wayne to do it. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> and, like, with us, it's like, have you got the red cabbage? James likes red cabbage. Oh, Wayne yeah. likes oh. stuffing. Oh, it's, it's terrible like, if you've gone and asked everybody, everybody, is there anything they really want? Oh. Yeah. Just and put it all on the table. table. Yeah, yeah, like, put make it all out. Yeah. The only thing that everybody likes, frozen peas. Oh. Yeah. oh. I don't. Frozen. I don't. I don't like frozen peas. We wouldn't be happy, would we? Well, we've not been invited, you know so I don't matter. Do you know what the answer is to it? If you are the cook, the best thing to do is start drinking early. Yes. <laughs> and then you you drop a sleep snooze. Where's mum? Where's mum? Yeah, and then someone matter. else has to go oh, and no. do it. <laughs> exactly. I love that. It's well, we've got to go to one of my favourite films, of course, and we've got a clip for this one. Have a look at this, Home Alone. <gasps> Hold the plate. Oh, you just made it. Yeah! yeah. Oh, you kids are in coach. We're in coach. You see, we have the small B&B. Before you I'll take the coats. <laughs> Thank you. We made it. Can you believe it? <laughs> Hope we didn't forget anything. Oh. Oh. oh! So, Judy, the question is... I'm coming to you first. How this I've got it written down here. How young is too young to leave at home alone? You know, look, if you're doing a little bit of shopping or something, I think it's all about the maturity of your children. Me personally, you know, I never left my children on their own until they're like 12, secondary school or so. Because sometimes it's it's not just about them being at home, it's one what what they might end up watching. Will they open the door? Will they invite a friend over? You know, a lot of accidents can happen in the home. But then again, you could have an 11, 12-year-old who is not as mature or, or, or won't tell you the truth what's happened and try and do something that they're not supposed to. So I think it's really about understanding um, your child's emotional uh, maturity to know yeah. that whether they're going to make a good decision or so on. Mm. But I would, I would say 12, you know, secondary school, they're walking to school on their own and stuff like that. I would say, you know, mm. 11, 12 is OK. Actually, the NSPCC, I've got a card here, says... Uh advises that every child is different. They wouldn't recommend leaving a child under 12 years old exactly. at home. I should know that. I know. <laughs> Uh, always, yeah, so they agree with I don't with think you. I'll ever be ready to leave my home on their own. If it's based on, like, emotional maturity... <laughs> I'm like, I don't know when that'll be. I wouldn't leave you home at home. <laughs> <laughs> so, fair, my last like one... Home alone. <laughs> I've left the best one till last, Janet. Thank you. Um, it's, uh, it's the Grinch. And, um, <laughs> it's a story of a cynical grump who goes on a mission to steal Christmas only to have his heart changed by a young girl's generous holiday spirit. Aww. So, Janet, Aww. does Christmas make you a nicer, <laughs> better person? You've got ten seconds, folks. Oh, right. I am a nice person, You Colleen. are. It's just not always apparent. So Christmas <laughs> brings out the best in me. And I do a lot of smiling, my face aches, <laughs> I have to rest my face, it smiles so much. Well, I'll I tell love you what, Christmas. I love my birthday. 